गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू लेट्स टॉक वॉट ऑफ द कॉलेज पावर बाई वॉट ऑफ द कॉलेज एपिसोड नंबर ट्वेंटी एंड टूडे वी हैव प्रेम कुमार सिंह इज अ माउंटेनियर विद अस so uh, very quickly let me just tell you uh, first of all let me just tell you what our company what after college do uh, so uh, what is the vision of what after college is that we, uh, we are here to eradicate unemployment for india by making india's youth job ready so what after college it's a very common question that arises in the mind of every student uh, to answer this what after college.com has created a platform called let's talk where industry dignitaries or individuals they come and share their experiences journey skills to the students for their learning growth and counseling uh we do this let's talk webinar every tuesday thursday and saturday 4 pm and today we are here with our thursday session episode uh these are the, uh, the webinars that we will be doing this week these were the past week webinars that we have already conducted and these are some of the past webinars okay so if you want to get regular update from let's talk you can either hit the um, youtube bell icon in the comments uh, in the in the uh, in the in on our page or i'll just send a link of our whatsapp group you can click on that link and join our whatsapp group as well also what after college is organizing a uh, workshop series online workshop series uh, in these workshop series uh, you will be get trained by industry experts you will also get a career road map guidance you will be working on projects with those experts and you will also get a participation certificate for these workshops we conduct these workshops every weekend so if you are interested you can just go to our website whataftercollege.com and check it out uh this is the certificate that you will be getting today after attending this webinar you can also use this certificate to get discount for on these workshops uh, that i'll tell you at the end of the session how to avail that discount okay so first uh, before beginning today's episode let me just ask you everyone uh, who all have been to some trekking or mountaineering ever if you have ever been to some mountaineering or trekking please just write it down in the comment section like how how much do you love mount trekking or if you have been to any trekking recently or uh, in the past okay let's just wait for the re uh, replies uh, till then let me just introduce you so today our speaker is mr prem kumar singh who is a mountaineer he has undertaken 15 expeditions across all the globe in 2013 alone he climbed the highest mountain on four continents including mount everest in asia mount everest in europe ekogona in south america and pankaj jaya in oceania He was also featured as one of the contestants on a NDTV Prime reality show XC Adventure, which he won. So today, uh, Mr. Prem will be talking about his journey to the top of the Mount Everest, and uh, he will be talking to you about his journey as a mountaineer and what all are the challenges that he faced. So over to you, Prem. Uh, you can just uh, start sharing about the journey. Hi, thanks a lot, Harsh, for that lovely uh, I, introduction. I know what you mean. have done a piece i think we are getting some replies from people who have been, who have was who have done trekking or mountaineering before i see that i see that am i audible to all of you loud and clear hi guys i hope i'm audible to everybody and there's no distortion of any sorts uh, it's good to see that some of you have been trekking some of you have already done your basic mountaineering courses which is lovely um I really would like to talk to you about uh, mountaineering, but more importantly, I'd like to talk to you about uh, choosing an alternate career from a sort of an unconventional path. You know, this is the age bracket that you are in. You know, right after college, or you're about to get out of college, which sort of inspires me the most because it was during this particular age in my life as well where uh, I had a little bit of an intervention. and i chose this path and it has taken me here this is an age which is i believe it's full of curiosity it's full of uh, confusions it is full of uh, a lot of uh, introspections that you do a lot of investigations that you do into the future because the steps that we take the decisions that we make uh, 
at this age will in a certain way shape how our life you know will turn out in the next five ten years and this was very very interesting for me as well because i was very confused at this age there's a lot of um confusion about what success meant how successful i was going to be if i chose something else of course the whole idea of uh, success was a little misplaced for me so yeah i mean coming back to this age and speaking to all of you when you're going to go and you know start your career so to speak in various different uh, aspects based in industries is something which inspires me a lot and i hope you bear with me for the next few minutes next 30 40 minutes when i'm going to take you to a journey that i took undertook to become a mountaineer uh, so are we all ready to uh, go on a small journey of what it takes to climb mount everest let me see some live comments okay arush thank you very much i'm glad you are Chalo. So I'll now. What I'll do is I'll share my screen and I'll show you a little bit of a glimpse from my world and hope you like it. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just a second, guys. All right. So I hope you can all see my screen now. what we're going to talk about is of course my journey to mount everest as harsh has already told you i'm prem kumar singh and i've been climbing mountains big mountains since 2012 my first mountain was mount deotiba which is a 6001 meter mountain in himachal pradesh and then i went on to climb over 15 mountains till now the highest of which being mount everest which is 8848 meters high and as all of you know it is the highest mountain on the face of planet earth apart from that i've also climbed the highest mountain in four different continents which include climbing elbrus which is in russia and happens to be the highest mountain in the continent of europe which includes climbing uh, mount aconcagua which happens to be in argentina and is the highest mountain in the continent of south america then of course there is the karshin pyramid or the punchak jaya as it's locally called which is the highest mountain in the continent of oceania australia wala continent so I've been on like Harsh already said I've been on a TV show I've been featured on various newspaper articles and TV articles I did a adventure based reality show which aired on NDTV Prime for 3 months across 15 16 episodes I've been speaking about the benefits of climbing mountains and the learnings from it on various platforms including uh, the Constitution Club of India the police training college Indian Navy uh, TEDx at one point of time various colleges and corporates as well so today what we're going to talk about is exploring alternate careers and my uh, poison of choice which is mountaineering now at this point uh, we should know what mountaineering is and mountaineering of course is a little different from trekking trekking is a recreational activity where we pack our bags with everything that we need uh, to sustain for a few days and we go into the mountains of course we camp we cook our food we look at the vistas we enjoy the scenery but it doesn't really require a lot of skill sets you know you wouldn't require to uh, take equipment to negotiate a rock patch or a glacier or an ice wall mountaineering on the other hand does exactly that it it is also a sport of attaining or attempting to attain uh, high points the peaks of a mountain but it requires a fair amount of skill set and that's the basic difference mountaineering is a sport in a lot of countries uh, unfortunately in our country is still not recognized as a sport while various parts of it are like now you know that indoor wall climbing or bouldering is becoming very fast becoming an olympic sport so how did the journey you know start how did this whole journey begin and as you're all in college or just out of college i have to tell you that my journey actually began right in college and it gain a lot of momentum right after college so when a lot of people ask me the bahut sare log puchte hain ki what was the thing that inspired you to uh, become a mountaineer or you know start climbing mountains and i have to tell you that it is never one single thing and even for me it wasn't one single thing it was an amalgamation of uh, various other things which came together uh, to start this journey of mine one of the most important things was uh, a cultural shock 
So I had I grew up in uh, I grew up in a state called Arunachal Pradesh. I I was brought up there, and uh, for college I was then transferred from there and put into the University of Delhi. And of course there is a huge amount of uh, gap, cultural gap between the two cities, and that was something which I was finding very difficult to. मुझे बहुत मुश्किल हो रही थी उसको कल्चरल डिफरेंसेस को ब्रिज करने में एंड एट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम अ वेरी नाइस प्रोफेसर ऑफ माय कॉलेज मिस्टर हरीश दवन ही सॉ दैट एंड ही वाज लाइक यू नो प्रेम यू शुड जॉइन द एडवेंचर सोसाइटी ऑफ आवर कॉलेज एंड प्रॉब्ली डू सम ट्रैकिंग एंड ऑफ कोर्स मैंने हां बोला उस समय बिकॉज़ इट नो एस्ट इट वाज सॉर्ट ऑफ एन एस्केपिस्ट मोमेंट फॉर मी बिकॉज़ आई वांटेड टू एस्केप फ्रॉम द होल प्रॉब्लम द होल स्ट्रेस दैट आई वाज डीलिंग विद So um, at, at this point of time, I'd also like to tell you that escapism works in some ways. It doesn't work in other ways. I, I've seen a lot of my own friends, a lot of people you would know who are dealing with something, and just to escape from it, they take some paths which aren't the best. You know, they would indulge in alcoholism or drug abuse. Some people get depressed, and you know, they take some very drastic steps. That's also a form of escapism. Uh, but you can also use it in a slightly more productive manner like uh, when a professor of mine intervened in my life and he said you know you should go out and uh, join the trekking or the adventure society of your college i was more than happy because that is something which uh, gave me a huge amount of uh, satisfaction and and it calmed me down so this was the man as i have to tell you he was my mentor in uh, trekking initially his name is mr harish thawan uh Then of course one tech trek led to another, and in a matter of two three years, I'd done quite a few treks. And at this point of time, of course, he could see that I was getting much much better at it. So he proposed that frame, you know, trekking is not where you'll be contained. So why don't you start doing mountaineering? And to be very frank, at this point of time, I had no idea what mountaineering was. So he uh, got me enrolled in, a, in an institute uh, called Himalayan Mountaineering Institute, and some of you. Uh, has been to the basic course this was a picture taken from my basic course actually the advanced course so i went to an institute and learned the basic art and craft that you require to climb mountains of course you learn how to climb ice you you know your ice craft you learn your rock craft you learn your snow craft of course you get to sleep in these very lovely accommodations as you can see temperatures are uh, a little below zero sometimes it's more or less like sleeping in a in an ice cream freezer because there's many many dangers there like this is a picture which was taken during a high climb where you can see that uh, your breathing or your body heat the heat that is permeating out of your body starts to freeze on your clothes so if you guys could do a little experiment if you put your finger right below your nose and you feel the temperature of your breathing you'll see that it's a little little warm हल्की सी ना गर्माहट होती है आपकी सांसों में तो जब बाहर का एम्बियन टेम्परेचर बहुत ही ज्यादा कम होता है तो देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस हीट एंड द एम्बियन टेम्परेचर एंड बिकॉज द एम्बियन टेम्परेचर इज वेरी 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 लो इट स्टार्ट टू फ्रीज नियर यू सो वट एवर हीट इज परमिएटिंग फ्रॉम यूर बॉडी स्टार्ट टू फ्रीज एंड ऑफकोर्स इफ यू पॉइंट योर फिंगर लाइक दैट एक्सपोज फिंगर लाइक दैट एज इट इज बींग पॉइंटेड इन द पिक्चर इट टर्नस इन टू दिस आफ्टर वाइल This is the picture of a frostbite. जिसमें क्या होता है कि आपकी उंगलियां इतनी फ्रीज हो जाती हैं कि आपका शरीर जो है वो उस पार्ट तक गर्मी भेजना बंद कर देता है धीरे धीरे खून आना बंद करता है वो जम जाता है The only way out is आपको ये उंगलियां काटनी पड़ती हैं So of course they are dangerous. Then there are dangers like these where uh, crevasses are available or not available but visible uh, on the glaciers. sometimes these crevasses can be as deep as 30 40 feet at some places even 80 feet and if you fall in one of these you could get seriously hurt if not dead so after getting all of these uh, training and all of these skills which i thought i had i then went on to climb this mountain this is a mountain called mount devtibba ye himachal mein hai 6001 meters ka hai aur uh, एक बहुत ही अच्छा बिगनर माउंटेन इसको कहते हैं फॉर दिस माउंटेन वी मेड आर बेस कैंप हियर तीन दिन चलने के बाद ये जगह आती है इसको टेंटा कहते हैं 
and this is one of my favorite pictures from the expedition because you can see that uh, there is a there is a cleaver made out of sunlight ek wo knife type ka ek bana rehta hai bana hua tha jab clouds ke beech mein thodi si sunlight is pe pad rahi thi and it seemed like god is cutting the mountains with a cleaver now the next very day the mountain weather turned a little bad we had to go up and this is where we camped after two days again and the glacier that you see on the left is the one that we have to negotiate to climb this mountain and this is us negotiating that glacier a lot of skills are required you have to pitch the route upar jaate waqt thoda aasan hota hai niche aate waqt thoda mushkil hota hai so you have to fix ropes there and after a few days of climb this is what we achieved we were on top of the mountain my friend of course on the left is not very happy with me having pushed him there so he wants to <laughs> kill me symbolically now after climbing the 6000 meter mountain the next mountain that i went on to climb was this mountain called mount satopan 7075 meters ye jo hai ye gangotri range mein padta hai uttarakhand state mein aur ye mountain uh, gangotri range ka second highest mountain hai pichle wale mountain se kareeb kareeb you know 1000 meter zyada uncha hai abhi mountains mein kya hota hai ki there is a rule of acclimatization हमारा जो ह्यूमन बॉडी है जो ह्यूमन शरीर है ये बना है और बनाया गया है समुद्र तल के आसपास रहने के लिए क्रिएटेड टू सर्वाइव एट द सी लेवल सो एज यू कीप गोइंग हायर द चेंज इन द ऑल्टीट्यूड द डिफरेंस इन द एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर द डिफरेंस इन द टेम्परेचर इज टू मच फॉर द बॉडी टू टेक सो इसको हम लोग थोड़ा नेगोशिएट करते हैं एक स्किल से जिसको हम एक्लेमेटाइजेशन कहते हैं विच इज टू स्लोली increase your altitude let your body feel it adapt to it and then move further and it's a good practice kafi acha practice hota hai mountaineering mein agar aap apna jo altitude ka threshold hai wo dheere dheere karke tore to mera plan bilkul wahi tha ki pehle 6000 meter mountain then 7000 meter mountain then eventually to 8000 meter mountain but then when we went to this 7000 meter mountain it was a different beast altogether now this was the glacier that it had it looked like ye kisi aur planet pe hai it looked very very brutal uh, the rock walls were very cold and very slippery aur is pe early morning jab aap jayenge to ek patli si layer you know transparent ice ki jami rehti hai to usko climb karna bahut hi zyada mushkil hai aur aisi jagah pe aap koshish karenge ki aap na gire agar aap girte hain to aapko kafi chot lag sakti hai of course then there was this uh, this gully that we had to climb which is an interesting gully because uh, the black patch that you see is actually ice ye kala isliye dikhta hai kyunki isme bahut hi sadiyon se erode hua hua jo patthar hai patthar ka burada hota hai jo ice ke sath mix ho gaya so imagine kare ki ye 45 to 60 degree ka gradient hai jo bahut hi slippery ice ka bana hua hai so this was another thing that we really had to negotiate kafi time laga tha is chote se section ko negotiate karne mein and then of course you have this massive ridges this particular one is called the nifis ridge which is uh, between camp 2 and camp 3 isme bhi agar aap dekhenge piche wala jo banda hai uske paas se agar aap bhagwan na kare par agar aap slip hote hain to aap kuch 100 meter niche jayenge kafi time lagega niche girte girte aur girne ke baad kafi chot bhi lagegi thankfully hamari team mein aisa kuch nahi hua so after having climbed uh, 6000 and 7000 the next mountain i really wanted to climb was mount everest Uh, because of course everest is the highest mountain in the world and of course uh, it's got a different charm to it and i wanted to complete my not complete but progress in my mountaineering journey by having touched the 8000 meter threshold so went to climb uh, mount everest mount everest happens to be as you all know on the boundary of nepal and china it can be uh, negotiated from both the sides of china se bhi ja sakte hain nepal se bhi ja sakte hain i chose to go to nepal because uh, मुझे थोड़ा जाना पहचाना लगता है नेपाल चाइना मुझे बहुत ही कम जाना पहचाना लगता है सो फॉर दैट यू हैव टू गेट इनटू टू काठमांडू एंड फ्रॉम काठमांडू यू टेक अ फ्लाइट टू दिस प्लेस व्हिच इज कॉल्ड लुकला नाउ लुकला एक काफी इंटरेस्टिंग एयरपोर्ट है ये उस एयरपोर्ट का एयर स्ट्रिप है जो आप देख रहे हैं सामने और ये एयर स्ट्रिप मुझे दुनिया का सबसे खतरनाक एयर स्ट्रिप लगता है क्योंकि अगर आप ध्यान से देखें तो जो एज है दूसरे वाला एज उसके पास ना कोई बाउंड्री है ना कोई बैरियर है और नीचे सीधा हजार फीट करीब करीब हजार फीट की खाई है 
सो अगर किसी भी कारण से आपका छोटा सा प्लेन यहाँ बड़े छोटे छोटे प्लेन्स आते हैं सिंगल इंजन या टोबो प्रॉप ट्वेन इंजन भी आते हैं कभी कभी बट छोटे प्लेन जो यहाँ आते हैं अगर बाई चांस वो टेक ऑफ नहीं करते तो काफी नीचे जाके रुकेंगे फ्रॉम लुकला वी टेक दिस पर्टिकुलर रूट यू नो गोइंग थ्रू फैक्टरिंग नाम चे तिंगो चे कंगो चे ये करते करते करीब सात दिनों में आप अपनी स्पीड पे जा सकते हैं बट सात आठ दिनों में आराम से आप एवरेस्ट बेस कैंप पहुँचते हैं जो कि करीब करीब पाँच हजार तीन सौ मीटर की हाइट पे है नाउ वेन आई रीच द एवरेस्ट बेस कैंप दिस इज वॉट आई सॉ दिस वॉज इन माई वर्ल्ड दिस वॉज द स्टफ दैट ड्रीम्स आर मेड ऑफ दिस वॉज यू नो जैसे एलिस इन द वंडरलैंड में जो वंडरलैंड होता है मेरे लिए ये वो बिल्कुल ही वंडरलैंड जैसा था आई आई लव एवरी पार्ट ऑफ इट Uh, I climbed it in 2013, and back then uh, the crowds were not as much. So, आजकल आप लोग last year आपने news में सुना होगा कि बहुत सारा crowd है बस, you know, एक traffic jam सा लग गया था. उस समय इतना नहीं हुआ करता था. Jam फिर भी था, as in traffic फिर भी था, but इतना नहीं था. So, जिस दिन मैं आया था, उस दिन अच्छी खासी बर्फ पड़ी थी. This was what you see in front of me is the Khumbu Ice Fall. From uh, the Everest base camp, you start climbing up, and this was the route which I had chalked for myself. as you can see i wanted to traverse everest and lotse lotse is the fourth highest mountain uh, on earth everest is the highest mountain on earth mera ek project hai iske ki main dono ko link karunga so this what you see right now in front of you sorry uh, is the 3d flyby of the everest region now this is something which i really like to tell you that at this point is uh, you really should in whatever is your passion whatever is your dream whatever is your project that you want to do you should really learn a lot about it kyunki jitna aap usko detail mein padhenge samjhenge utna hi aasan hoga aapke liye us goal ko achieve kar pana so we put a lot of attention every time we go to climb any mountain uh, we always study them on google earth we study them through these various uh, softwares that uh, that are available through the contour maps the topography of the area Now what you're seeing here is what Everest looks like if you do a flyby near it. Abhi jo aap dekh rahe ho ye Everest China side se dikha raha hai. As it turns around on the other side you'll see the the Nepalese side. Now this is the Nepalese side. And of course uh I hope you like it because I really like this. This is one of the one of my favorite videos in the world. Okay so moving on this was the first stage of that mountain beyond base camp you have to cross this place called uh, Khumbu Ice Fall Now Khumbu Ice Fall agar mujhe aapko samjhana ho to imagine kare apne dimag mein uh, wo 10 15 sabse unchi buildings jo aapne dekhi hai unko ek line se lagaiye aur unke niche bam laga ke sabko ura dijiye jab wo girenge to unke debris banenge ना उन डेब्रीज को जादू से बिकॉज इट्स हाइपोथेटिकल सिनेरियो उसको जादू से आप बर्फ में तब्दील कर दीजिए हैं और उस सारी बर्फ को एक जगह लाके अगर आप डाल देते हैं तो खुम्बू आइस फॉल थोड़ा थोड़ा वैसा ही लगता है इसमें इतने बड़े बड़े क्यूब्स हैं कि कुछ क्यूब्स करीब करीब दस मीटर बीस मीटर बड़े होते हैं और इट्स लाइक अ मेज ऐसा और एंड यू लाइक अ माउस इन द मेज सो यू रियली हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल ऑफ वेर यूर गोइंग हाउ यूर मेकिंग योर वेज एंड समटाइम्स इट्स सेट टू मूव कहते हैं कि बिकॉज इट्स इट्स अ ग्लेशियल रिवर स्लो मूविंग रिवर इट मूव्स सो जो रास्ता आपने 10-15 दिन पहले लिया था वो आज भी हो ये जरूरी नहीं आफ्टर क्रॉसिंग कुंभ विच ऑफकोर्स हैज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ दीज क्रिवासेज यहाँ भी बहुत सारे क्रिवासेज होते हैं दर्रे होते हैं जो ग्लेशियर में बने रहते हैं तो काफ़ी डीप होते हैं और इसमें नहीं गिरना चाहिए गिरने पर काफ़ी चोट लगेगी और हो सकता है आपका रेस्क्यू ना हो जिसको नेगोशिएट करने के लिए हम इन एल्यूमिनियम लैडर्स का यूज़ करते हैं इसके बाद दो स्टेप आगे ये है विच इज कॉल्ड कैंप टू कैंप वन भी है एक बार टाइम कंस्ट्रेंट है मैं थोड़ा जल्दी ले जा रहा हूँ दिस इज कैंप टू विद दिस इज द लास्ट बिग कैंप बिफोर द एक्चुअल एक्सपेक्टेशन स्टार्ट्स एंड बियॉन्ड कैंप टू दिस इज द एरिया विच वी कॉल द वेस्टर्न क्रूम एंड इस रिज पे जो सामने स्लोप जो आप देख रहे हो रिज नहीं जो स्लोप देख रहे हो इस स्लोप पे कैंप थ्री लगता है नाउ दिस is a very uh, steep and a slippery area as you can see the light is literally shimmering of the of the blue ice that you have to climb the blue ice is just like rock us pe aapke joote theek se tikte nahi hai aapke crampons theek se ghusthe nahi hai bahut hard hota hai 
दिस इज कैम्प थ्री कैम्प थ्री आप करीब करीब सात साढ़े सात हजार मीटर पे लगाते हो हमने सात हजार तीन सौ मीटर पे लगाया था सात हजार तीन सौ मीटर को अगर मैं परस्पेक्टिव में डालू तो जहाँ आप लोग अभी बैठे हैं उससे ठीक ऊपर अगर आप आसमान की तरफ देखते हो तो करीब करीब साढ़े सात किलोमीटर ऊपर ये कैम्प साइट है जो अभी आप देख रहे हो ये वो जगह है जहाँ आप क्लाउड से थोड़े ऊपर चले जाते हो जो आप देख रहे हो वो तीन ग्रीन ग्रीन येलो टेंट वो हमारे टेंट है और पीछे इज द होल वैली ये वाली वैली जो अब क्लाउड में आ चुकी है यहाँ से आप स्टार्ट करते हो टूवर्ड्स कैम्प फोर वेर एन यू क्रॉस द येलो बैंड एंड दिनेबर्स पर दो and this right behind me is everest and this is me trying to take a selfie in 2012 with a big camera as you can see meri selfie wali skills bahut achi nahi hai i really suck at selfie skills and then uh, you start climbing in the night but in the night i couldn't take any picture so this was a picture which was taken in the morning <coughs> this is the top of mount everest okay. <laughs> and at this point of time i'd like to emphasize one more time that my selfie taking skills on on point are not very good so please forgive me on that वहाँ पाँच सात मिनट रुकने के बाद यू रियली हैव टू गो बैक बिकॉज एज यू कैन सी दिज दिज स्टॉम कमिंग अप एंड द ओनली थिंग आफ्टर फाइव मिनट्स वी कुड सी वर्स जस्ट लिटिल टिप ऑफ अ माउंटेन पूरा एरिया क्लाउड्स में भर गया था सो वी रियली हैव टू गेट बैक सो ऑन द नाइनटीन ऑफ मे टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन आई वॉज फॉर्चुनेट अनफ टू गेट अ चांस टू सिट और स्टैंड ऑन टॉप ऑफ माउंट एवरेस्ट एंड इन द नेक्स्ट मंथ दैट फॉलो द नेक्स्ट सिक्स मंथ दैट फॉलो आई वेंट एन I went on and climbed the highest mountain in Europe, like I said, in Russia. This is Mount Elbrus, uh, Mount Carson Pyramid, which is the highest peak in Oceania. This happens to be politically in Indonesia and geographically in the island of uh, New Guinea. And then Aconcagua, which is in Argentina. Uske alawa, abhi tak I've been able to climb 15 mountains in five different countries. And at this point of time, I really want to tell you that. Uh, it takes time it takes time to achieve anything that you want to achieve if you want to you know take a step in the direction of an unconventional journey unconventional career aap apne liye banana chahte ho to usme thoda samay lagta hai but if you believe that you can do it if you invest your time in the skills that are required if you don't shy away from all the mehnat that you will have to do all the hard work that you'll have to put in you're halfway there I got out of college in 2010, and the first shot that I got at Big Mountain was after two years. That two years I spent in just preparing myself and being ready for everything that was to come. So yeah, now the one big learning that I've got in these eight, ten years of climbing mountains, of climbing big mountains, is that dreams do not come true. Goals do. अगर आप अपने ड्रीम्स की डायरेक्शन में जाना चाहते हैं तो लर्न हाउ टू अटैच अ नंबर टू इट हाउ टू क्वांटिफाई इट बेसिकली व्हाट इज इट दैट यू रिक्वायर टू अचीव योर ड्रीम इन टर्म्स ऑफ डेली गोल्स वीकली गोल्स मंथली गोल्स सेमी एनुअल एंड एनुअल गोल्स लाइक आज मुझे क्या करना है उसको अगर आप एक क्वान्टिफाइबल फिगर में डाल सकते हो तो वो सच होगा अदरवाइज ड्रीम्स आर जस्ट विशफुल थिंकिंग सो like i always say dreams do not come true goals do this is the bigger uh, mantra that i i follow and that has helped me in sort of climb all these mountains but apart from that i also use the, my three t's of success because once you have decided you have broken down your dream into goals you will need to really really be patient with your goal because kya hai na ki kai baar jo aapke गोल्स होते हैं जो आपके ड्रीम्स होते हैं जो आपके आइडियाज होते हैं वो फुल्ली फॉर्म होकर आप तक नहीं पहुंचते हैं वो एक बहुत ही यू नो बहुत ही वेग टाइप एक नॉन कॉन्क्रीट फॉर्म में आपके पास आते हैं और यू हैव टू गिव इट टाइम यू हैव टू बी पेशेंट विद इट फॉर इट टू ग्रो इन टू इट्स फुल ग्लोरी ऑल्सो वेन यू कीप ट्राइंग फॉर समथिंग पेशेंस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग बिकॉज इट विल इवेंचुअली कम ट्रू बट इफ यू डोंट हैव द पेशेंस आप आधे रास्ते में या थोड़ी देर चलने के बाद छोड़ दोगे पेशेंस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट then of course persistence 
Now, what I mean by persistence is to doggedly pursue something. एक बार में आपको सक्सेस मिल जाए ये जरूरी नहीं है तो आपको ना बार बार अगर आप सही में किसी चीज़ के बारे में बहुत पैशनेट हो तो आपको बार बार कोशिश करनी पड़ती है लाइक यू नो लाइक ऐसे मैंने 2010 में माउंट रेनिंग करना स्टार्ट किया 2012 में जाके कई बार ट्राई करने के बाद मुझे पहला बिग माउंटेन करने का चांस मिला था and i'm sure every successful person that you would speak to he would also tell you that it's important to be persistent with your dreams and then of course this perseverance now by perseverance what i mean is uh, you know uh, life mein na aap log to abhi kafi young ho but i'm sure aap logon ne bhi experience kiya hoga kai baar life aapko itni kai galat salat type ki situations mein dalti hai aur it breaks you down completely throws you on the ground it dusts you down right completely aise jagah pe la ke chhod deti hai ki lagta hai ki sala kuch bacha hi nahi life mein at that point of time uh, and it has happened to me quite a few times in the mountains outside of the mountains at that point of time perseverance is something that will really help you get back up dust yourself and keep moving towards your goal perseverance is jab aapko pura hi destroy kar diya jaye ya pura hi matlab aapko zameen pe gira ke मिट्टी में रगड़ दिया जाए फिर भी आप उठ के अपने गोल्स की तरफ चलने के लिए तैयार रहें ना यू इफ यू रियली बिलीव इन समथिंग इफ यू रियली हैव पैशन फॉर समथिंग परसिवेरेंस इज समथिंग दैट यू विल हैव टू रियली रियली हैव सो दीज आर द थ्री पीस ऑफ सक्सेस दैट आई हैव यूज्ड टिल नाउ दिस इज द मैक्रो व्यू ऑफ व्हाट आई हैव अचीव एंड द माइक्रो व्यू इज द फाइव स्टेप रूल ऑफ एग्जीक्यूशन जब मैक्रो मतलब जब आप कुछ करने आते हैं बहुत छोटे मैक्रो लेवल माइक्रो लेवल पे तो ये पांच चीज़ें हैं जो हम हर माउंटेन पे करते हैं और बिगर uh, स्केल पे भी मतलब लाइफ में भी अडेप्ट करते हैं बट बेसिकली हर माउंटेन को क्लाइम करने के लिए आपको उसके बारे में जानना जरूरी है जैसे जो मैंने आपको वीडियो दिखाई दैट वीडियो इज अ स्मॉल पोर्शन ऑफ द लर्निंग दैट वी डू अबाउट द माउंटेन सो मान लो हम एक माउंटेन के बारे में सीख रहे हैं तो वहाँ हमें पता चलता है कि इसमें यू नो काफ़ी अच्छा ग्रेडियंट है जिसमें हमें काफ़ी आइस क्लाइंबिंग करनी पड़ेगी तो हमें ये पता चलता है कि हमें लोअर बॉडी पे बहुत ज़्यादा काम करना है स्किल्स पे बहुत ज़्यादा काम करना है सो देन वी कम टू द सेकंड स्टेप व्हिच इज प्रिपेयर सो व्हेन यू लर्न यू नो व्हाट यू नीड एंड देन यू प्रिपेयर फॉर दोज थिंग्स वंस यू हैव लर्न एंड प्रिपेयर यू एडेप्ट अभी क्या है कि सिचुएशंस विल ऑफ कोर्स चेंज राइट सो एज सिचुएशंस चेंज यू गो टू एडेप्ट टू दोज सिचुएशंस आफ्टर एडेप्टिंग व्हाट हैपेंस इज इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ डूइंग थिंग्स अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स will not work out the way you want them to work out and that point of time you have to improvise improvise ko apne local aam bol chal ki bhasha mein na jugad kehte hain so aapko na chote chote jugad karne honge har jagah agar aap seriously passionate ho to aap apne sare problems ko na jugad technology se bhi solve karoge jo real life mein aate hain like for example ek ek bahut hi simple cheez hoti hai ki uh, when you go to climb mountains आपको ना स्टेयर क्लाइंबिंग जो है वो एक बहुत ही आ, अच्छा वर्कआउट है बट किसी भी मैं जहाँ रहता हूँ वहाँ आसपास कुछ नहीं था तो मान लो अगर आप उसका कुछ जुगाड़ लगाना चाहते हो सोचो आपको स्टेयर क्लाइंबिंग करनी है और आप एक गांव में रहते हो हाई राइज बिल्डिंग्स नहीं है आप कैसे करोगे ना ये आप लोग सोचो मैं आपको बाद में बताऊँगा या आप लोग खुद मुझे लिख के बताना कि इस चीज़ को कैसे आप जुगाड़ टेक्नोलॉजी से सॉल्व करोगे एंड देन फाइनली यू हैव टू बिलीव देखो कई बार क्या होता है ना कि यू हैव टू ओपन अ हंड्रेड डोर्स आपको सौ दरवाजे खोलने हैं मान लो आपको सक्सेस तक पहुंचने में और जो सक्सेस है और जो आपका ड्रीम है वो गोल है किसी भी एक दरवाजे के पीछे रहता है एंड यू वुडेंट नो टिल यू ओपन द डोर सो यू हैव टू बिलीव दैट व्हाट यू डूइंग इवन इफ यू कॉन्ट सी सक्सेस यू कॉन्ट सी योर गोल्स राइट फ्रंट इट्स राइट देर बिकॉज हताश होना डिप्रेस होना बहुत आसान है ना इट्स वेरी इजी टू गेट डिप्रेस व्हेन यू वर्क सो हार्ड बट यू स्टिल सी दैट द गोल दैट यू यू नो ट्राइंग टू अचीव इज स्टिल वेरी फास्ट यू हैव यू हैव टू बिलीव दिस आर द फाइव स्टेप रूल ऑफ एग्जीक्यूशन दैट आई फॉलो अलोंग विद द थ्री स्टेप थ्री पीस ऑफ सक्सेस एंड माय बिग मंत्र व्हिच इज ड्रीम्स डोंट कम ट्रू क्लोज टू एंड ऑफ कोर्स आई मीन आई कीप पोस्टिंग दीज simple small little things on all my social media handles if you want we could be connected there and yeah take on the conversation about my, about my mountain ring career that coming back again to all of you here i hope you had a fun time there and if there is yeah. something you want to ask i would be more than willing to take your questions 
uh, yes prem that was a really amazing presentation some of those pictures were really beautiful thank you uh, but uh, prem uh, what uh, what people uh, how uh, those pictures were really beautiful but you know some of the things of them they were really risky like you just told uh, you have frost bites and you have to cut off those fingers like there is a lot of risk also so yes. uh, in all this how do you view like how do you view mortality like how do you c c counter the risks that are involved risk factor that is involved in mountaineering okay so i'll tell you about this so give me harsh let me ask you a question yeah uh, how do you cross the road uh, i look both the ways and cross the road okay lovely that's what we do right when we have to cross the road which has very high speed vehicles going on it zip zap zoom we wait for the red light we look for the zebra crossing we look left right if it's not there see that everything is safe we know how to walk we have learned how to walk and then we quickly yeah. walk first right it's almost the same uh, in terms of mountaineering wherein the only people who get into an accident or who you know who would be run down at a zebra crossing or on a road are the people who are not really looking both the sides they don't know how to walk uh, they have no other means of getting across right it's the same right we come look mountaineering karte hain तो काफ़ी सारे स्किल सेट हैं जो हमें सीखने पड़ते हैं काफ़ी सारी ट्रेनिंग है जो हमें करनी पड़ती है काफ़ी सारा नॉलेज इकट्ठा करना पड़ता है एंड वंस यू वे इन ऑल योर रिस्क फैक्टर्स इट्स इट्स एज सेफ एज एनीथिंग एल्स लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू डोंट नो हाउ टू ड्राइव यू विल नॉट बाय अ लम्बी और अ फरारी एंड गो ऑन द हाईवे एंड ट्राई टू डू हंड्रेड एंड एटी किलोमीटर्स पर आर राइट यू विल लर्न हाउ टू ड्राइव यू विल लर्न वॉर योर मशीन एज यू लर्न द you know the atmosphere around you the environment around you you learn the rules of the road and then you'll take your car there and then enjoy it similar thing jaise aapne frost bite ka bola hame bhi pata hai ki wahan temperature bahut hi zyada low hota hai aur aisi cheeze ho sakti hain but uske liye hum kafi cheeze karte hain hum thodi bahut cold endurance training karte hain jab hum apne body ke cold threshold ko dheere dheere badhate hain aur hum kafi acha equipment use karte hain aur जब माउंटेन में होते हैं थोड़ी समझदारी दिखाते हैं एक्सपोज नहीं करते हैं ज़्यादा यू नो ये नहीं कि उंगलियाँ खोल के बर्फ में डाल के ऐसे करके घूम रहे हैं हम डाउन फेदर के ग्लव्स पहन के रखते हैं वार्म मेंटेन करते हैं तो थोड़ी सी समझदारी थोड़ी सी सीख थोड़ा सा ट्रेनिंग एंड इट्स एज एज सेफ एज एनी थिंग एल्स also like uh, how do you balance things in your life like how do you balance your work life with all the what all the adventures going on around you and everything how do you balance that that's, uh, that's a very uh, beautiful question uh, work life balance jo hai wo aajkal corporate mein bhi balance karna bahut mushkil ho jata hai aur especially hamare field mein jo jahan aap dekhenge hame kareeb 6 se 8 mahine kai saalon tak abhi kai har saal 6 se 8 mahine pahadon mein rehna padta hai Uh, for training for expeditions for work it becomes a little difficult i will not lie uh, having supportive family and friends of course helps and uh, i believe that when we spend so much time away from our families away from our you know life actual life in, in the cities we become more uh, appreciative to it so jab hum yahan aate hain to wo jo bhi char panch mahine hamare paas hote hain wo hum bahut hi zyada खुल के जीते हैं बहुत ही अच्छे से बहुत ही फुल हर मोमेंट को जीने की कोशिश करते हैं बिकॉज यू नो यू नेवर नो इफ यू गेट द सेम चांस अगेन एंड व्हेन कम्स टू वर्क ऑफ कोर्स माउंटेनियरिंग इज अ वेरी एक्सपेंसिव स्पोर्ट ऑफ कोर्स धीरज मंजानी जी वॉन्ट्स नो हाउ डू आई मैनेज वर्क विद माउंटेनियरिंग जो ओनली वन धीरज माउंटेनियरिंग इज माई वर्क इट पेज मी अ लिटिल बेट आई लाइक एन कम टू दैट इट पेज मी थ्रू वेरियस चैनल एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट आई एम एन एक्वाकल्चरिस्ट I have some farms in Gujarat. I shrimp aquaculture करता हूँ. झींगे जो आप लोग prawns जो आप लोग Goa में या यहाँ भी seafood restaurants में खाते हैं, उसकी farming करता हूँ मैं थोड़ी बहुत. वो farming भी मैंने इसलिए choose की है कि उसका culture करीब चार से पांच महीने का होता है. Exactly उस time पे जब हम ज़्यादा climb नहीं कर सकते. So I work. I mean, it took me some time to figure out this balance, but I have picked up a work as well which fits exactly in that time frame that. you know i don't require for mountaineering and then the rest of the time i invest in mountaineering so it's difficult to manage if you're doing if you're doing anything with so much passion and dedication aap kuch bhi kar rahe ho to thoda sa na work life balance aapka kharab ho jata hai especially family friends social life balance thoda kharab ho jata hai but 
आप कभी आपको ना वो दुख नहीं होगा बिकॉज जो आप कर रहे हो वो ऑलरेडी इतना आपको इंटरेस्टिंग लगता है आप आपका पैशन है वो राइट right? सो so, आप उस पैशन में जब इंडल्ज होके रहते हो तो इतना बुरा नहीं लगता यार तो लेट्स जस्ट ओपन द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर राउंड फॉर आवर ऑडियंस टुडे ओके सो एनीबॉडी हु हैव क्वेश्चंस कैन आस्क दोस कैन टाइप दोस क्वेश्चंस इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड प्रेम विल आंसर दोस क्वेश्चंस also the what after college workshop series that we are conducting every weekend uh, that is affiliated to iit khadakpur and triple it alabad uh, that the details you can go to our website and check it out and all those who will be filling the feedback form today this is the password for the feedback form uh, all those who will fill the feedback form will get the certificate so please note this password down so you can fill the feedback form later okay so we have a question from Let's just, uh, let's take the questions. क्या होगा की आपको एक टेस्ट मिलेगा कि क्या ये चीज रियलिटी में आपके लिए है कई बार क्या होता है कि हमें बहुत सारी चीजें बहुत ग्लैमरस लगती हैं बहुत इंस्पायरिंग लगती हैं बट जब हम उसको करने लगते हैं तो ऐसा लगता है कि यार ये दिस इज नॉट फॉर मी सो फर्स्ट डू अ फ्यू ट्रैक सी व्हाट पार्ट्स ऑफ इट उसका क्या पार्ट आपको अच्छा लगता है क्या अच्छा नहीं लगता है उसके बाद अगर आपको वो पसंद आता है देन आई वुड से यू गो एंड यू डू बेसिक माउंटेनरिंग कोर्स हमारे देश में चार पाँच अच्छे इंस्टीट्यूट हैं जिससे आप ये कोर्सेस कर सकते हैं अट्ठाईस दिन का होता है इन अट्ठाईस दिनों में आपको रॉक क्राफ्ट आइस क्राफ्ट स्नो क्राफ्ट एथिक्स काफ़ी कुछ सिखाया जाएगा और ये कोर्स करने के बाद आपको एक बेसिक अच्छी खासी अंडरस्टैंडिंग आ जाती है कि माउंटेनरिंग किस तरीके से ऑपरेट करता है उसके बाद आप जाएँ आप एक आध एक्सपेडिशन करें दो तीन एक्सपेडिशन करें और फिर यू नो एडवांस माउंटेनरिंग कोर्स करें एडवांस माउंटेनरिंग कोर्स करने के बाद और एक्सपेडिशन करें एंड वन डे में भी आप और मैं साथ में एक्सपेडिशन करेंगे एंड वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम लिखिता अनु गंती इफ आई एम सेइंग इट राइट इफ आई एम सेइंग इट रॉन्ग लिखिता प्लीज मुझे माफ करिएगा व्हाट वाज द मोस्ट रिस्की पॉइंट ऑफ योर होल माउंटेनिंग जर्नी टू नाउ आई हैव सीन अ फेयर बिट ऑफ ड्रामा इन द माउंटेंस ड्रामा बाय ड्रामा आई डोंट मीन एक तक कपूर वाला ड्रामा आई मीन रियल लाइफ ड्रामा आई हैव बीन I've, I've observed, or I've been a party to teams which have been hit by avalanches. In 2016, we did an expedition in the Eastern Karakoram. Eastern Karakoram is on uh, Pakistan wali side, which is a mountain range. There, you go through the Nubra Valley. There, there is a mountain called Sasir Kangri. We were climbing it. So uh, my team, two members of my team, got, uh, got hit by an avalanche. And क्या हुआ कि वो जिस रिज पे क्लाइम कर रहे थे उस रिज के नीचे जो पूरा आइस पैक था वो आइस पैक सडनली एवलांच में नीचे गिर गया वो ऊपर रह गया तो वो दोनों रोप से कनेक्टेड थे एक दूसरे से वो दोनों गिरने लगे जब वो गिरे तो उनकी रोप जो है एक बड़े से पत्थर में आ गया एक साइड एक गिरा दूसरे साइड वो गिरा तो मस्त फेल्ट टू हंड्रेड फीट और एक के साइड का जो जो रोप था वो छोटा था और एक के साइड लंबा था छोटे वाला रुक गया लंबे वाला गिरता गया जब उसका रोप का टेंशन खत्म हुआ दैट दैट झटका सॉर्ट ऑफ ओपन द रिब ऑफ अ गाय एंड बर्न द हैंड ऑफ अनदर गाय एंड दिस हैपेंड एट क्लोज टू सिक्स एंड हाफ थाउजेंड मीटर विच इज वेरी वेरी हाई एंड इट टूक थ्री डेज इन दिस डूइंग द रेस्क्यू वर्क फॉर दैट यू गॉट हेलीकॉप्टर एंड टूक दम आउट बट ये आर दोज थ्री डेज वेर वेरी रिस्की बिकॉज वी Fought with loose people. I had lost a friend, a friend from uh, South Korea, on uh, Mount Everest. He was climbing Lhotse, and it was okay. But so there's been a few of these uh, options, these, these uh, critical situations. But I'd rather not, you know, bore you guys or scare you guys with like the scary stuff. It's it, it's scary if you do things wrong. Like if you make a mistake, if you make a small mistake, then something can happen. But I don't think it's a very risky sport. And yeah, it's it's, it's lovely. It's beautiful. You are in the hills. You're in the mountains. You 
in a place where you love everything around you. It's not so bad. Uh, Gulshan has a question. Do you feel to go back when you're stuck in the most difficult task that you have to complete in order to reach the love? Do you feel to go back when you're stuck in the most difficult task that you have to complete in order to but I think you need you you mean what do I feel when I'm stuck in a difficult task that I have to complete? Um, there's a lot going on in the head, and at the same time, there's nothing else going on in your head. So mountaineering is a sport which, as I keep saying, is is a physical physical manifestation of meditation. You are in a place where आपका ध्यान जो है ना वो बहुत एकाग्रित होता है एक ही ख्याल पे एक ही विचार पे एक ही क्षण में एक ही मोमेंट में राइट so you are so consumed in the moment that there is no other thought in your head like aap ghar ke bare mein aap kaam ke bare mein kisi bare mein nahi soch rahe aap us moment mein negotiate kaise karna hai uske bare mein soch rahe hote hain so basically uh, when i'm negotiating a very difficult task i'm actually thinking about what is going to be my next step and nothing else so log kehte hain ki aapko darne lagta hai aise cheezon mein main ka dar ke liye bandwidth nahi hota matlab dimag ke pura ek tarah ek jagah pe hai तो आप और कुछ सोच नहीं सकते और ऐसे टाइम पे क्या होता है कि दिमाग इतना कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड होता है कि आप एक ही थॉट सोच सकते हैं तो अगर आप डर की तरफ सोचने लगे डर के दिशा में सोचने लगे तो आप उधर ही बह जाओगे आप और कुछ नहीं सोच सकते यू 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 नॉट बी एबल टू एनी थिंग एंड मोस्टली डर नहीं होता क्योंकि आप लिटरली अब क्या करना है मतलब नेक्स्ट थ्री सेकेंड्स में क्या करना है उसके बारे में सोच रहे होते हो सो आई डोंट थिंक टू मच what kind of intake food or drinks you have taken during the journey uh avadut chogule uh, avadut there's a different kind of uh, food that we take at different uh, steps for example uh, one you have to understand that the caloric intake increases quite a lot when you are in the mountains or climbing high mountains um, it increases all the way to like 5000 to 6000 that per day so to meet that of course you have to take a very high caloric intake जहाँ तक पॉसिबल होता है वी ट्राई टू टेक फूड एज नॉर्मल पीपल मतलब अपना बढ़िया दाल चावल रोटी जो भी बने सब्जियां बने मीट वीट जो भी बने वो आप खाते हो बट जब आप ऊपर जाते हो जहाँ ऑक्सीजन में एयर की डेंसिटी कम है जिसकी वजह से आप आग एज एन यू कॉन्ट नॉर्मली फोर ऑन फ्यू प्लस वाटर मेल्ट करना पड़ता है तो ऐसी जगह पे वी टेक डिहाइड्रेटेड मील्स एम एस आर सो डिहाइड्रेट मील इसमें एक पैकेट सा होता है इसको आप पानी में गर्म कर लीजिए और इसमें से आपको करीब करीब एक पैकेट से या एक मील से ग्यारह से 1200 सौ कैलोरीज मिल जाती हैं एंड दैट इज एनाफ ऑल्सो यू हैव डेट्स अगर आप डेट्स खा सकते हैं तो आप डेट्स पचा सकते हैं तो खाइए एनी थिंग विच इज हाई इन कैलोरिक वैल्यू एंड इट्स ईजी टू कंज्यूम योर बॉडी कैन सिंथिसाइज इट फास्ट दिस होल साइंस दैट गोज बिहाइंड वॉट टू ईट एट वॉट प्लेस एंड इन वॉट क्वान्टिटी सो या आई मीन वी कुड डू लाइक अ होल conversation about this i feel free to connect with me on any of the social media channels and we'll take this forward ke kafi lamba conversation hai also adbhut i would like to tell you that one thing that we really, really do is take a lot of fluids uh, by fluids i mean uh, hot or cold pani bahut zyada rakhna bahut zaruri hai because muscle cramps nahi hote hain dehydration nahi hota hoti bhi hai to wahan pata nahi chalta so 3 se 4 liter fluids dena bahut zaruri hai yeah so next question uh, naga chandra teja Dodi Galo, you have a very beautiful name, sir. What advice would you give to one of your peers? I want to take up mountaineering. Uh, uh, you can take up mountaineering whenever you want to take up mountaineering. There are two or three things that I would like you to do. One, uh, do not take up mountaineering for the sense of vanity. I mean, fame के लिए mountaineering मत करिए वो बहुत खतरनाक होता है. मैं, I mean, I keep seeing a lot of people who uh, get into the field of mountaineering just to climb Everest because वो अपने स्टेट में अपने डिस्ट्रिक्ट में यू नो मीडिया में जाके थोड़े फेमस होना चाहते हैं दैट इज नॉट वट वाई शुड क्लाइम ऑन दिस दैट इज नंबर वन नंबर टू बी श्योर दैट यू आर इन द टॉप फिजिकल एंड मेंटल शेप ऑफ योर लाइफ बिकॉज अगर आपका फिजिकल और मेंटल शेप अच्छा नहीं है तो आपकी चोट लगने के चांसेस बढ़ जाते हैं थ्री गेट ट्रेन ट्रेनिंग सबसे ज्यादा जरूरी है एंड फोर्थ बट द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट बी श्योर यू हैव लव फॉर द माउंटेन लाइक अगर आप माउंटेन से उतना ही प्यार करते हैं जितना हम सब करते हैं आई एम श्योर आप बहुत ज़्यादा प्यार करते हैं आई एम नॉट डाउटिंग योर लव बट बी श्योर दैट यू लव द माउंटेन एंड यू वॉन्ट स्पेंड टाइम इन दैन 
in the most natural and rudimentary way. So those are the four advices I have. I'm not too young to be giving advices, but if I had to, that would be my advice. Uh, Dheeraj, and, and great suggestions. Where can we connect to know more about how to go about starting with? Uh, if we have to connect, you and me, I'm sure Rishab will give you all the links of, uh, say, Instagram or LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. I don't use Twitter much, so don't connect there. But all the three, I'm sure Rishab either link they give, so you can connect with me and we could talk about it in great detail. I don't mind spending time in helping people who want to get into mountaineering. It is the field of my choice. So I of course want to that more people come and more people come and enjoy it and contribute to it. Yep. Dhruv. Uh, Dhruva Mahesh. Which things made you to be a mountaineer? Um, one, the love for mountains. Two, escapism from the, the city life. Uh, Three, the sense of concentration and, and pinnacle of focus that I achieve in the mountains river. Uh, that's plus an inspiration and a little bit of push from a lot of people. Uh, not, not really push, but a little bit of inspiration from some people. I, I don't know how to answer that, Dhruv. I'm, I'm really sorry. This is not a single thing. Like I said in the beginning of the session, there's, it's a journey, even an inspiration to become something or to do something that you really love. It's a whole journey of uh, you know, introspection and various things coming together, various okay, na, star ski alignments, something like that. I'm really sorry, Dhruva. I mean, man, I'm, what is it? Even try. When is your turning point in life, Asta? Asta, my turning point in life was uh, during college because, uh, like I told you guys, I was actually. Uh, I grew up in Arunachal Pradesh, which is a mountainous region. And then for college, I was sent to the University of Delhi. And what I was very small place. So there is a cultural difference. What is the difference between the cultural shock? I was very difficult to deal with it. So I was a little aloof. At that point of time, I got a chance to join the Adventure Society of my college. A very kind professor in my college he came up and said, hey, man, do you want to join? Adventure Society, we go on treks and we do small adventure programs. And I was like, why not? Because anything which keeps me away from this mad crowd of Delhi uh, would be, uh, at that point of time, would be a respite. Don't get me wrong, now I love Delhi. Delhi is like a lovely, lovely city. At, at that point of time, I was not too keen with you know, huge crowds and you know, too much noise and all of that. So yeah, I went on the, on the first trek with him. And one trek led to another. And in a short span of time, I'd done quite a few treks. And and then went on to mountaining school and from mountaining school to a few mountains. And Uskibad, you know, it caught a snowball effect. So as I kept going, I kept getting more experience, more knowledge. But again, turning point, I would say college hi tha. Because it was a lot of college. Uh, we have Vanya Rana. How do I monetize my sport? Uh, Vanya, if by my sport, I believe you're speaking about mountaineering, if that is also your sport. Monetizing my sport can be through a few things, number one, but there's a prerequisite to it. Number one is you have to be good at this. Like there is very little scope for people who want to be mediocre in mountaineering because then uh, your career will be a lot of mediocre type of career. So first of all, you have to do whatever your sport is, if it's mountaineering, then you have to do good. Like, up your skills, go a chakaro, up your knowledge base, go a chakaro, up your experience, go a chakaro. Uskiba kya hota ki kapi chije badalenaki. Like, today, when I speak about monetizing my own skills, the way I do it is uh, in 2012, when I started climbing, I also started uh, I associated myself with a certain company called Alpine Wanderers. I, I mentored them, I helped them out with a little bit of uh, expedition planning and trek planning. The expedition kernel of your trek planning up till Yasano Jatu. And a few years ago, they offered me a stake in the company. So now I have a decent stake in the, in the company. I also freelanced initially. I freelanced for a lot of people for mountaineering. Maybe you could possibly uh, end up making close to uh, three grants to five grants a day. 
eventually in an, in a an year, if you could do five expedition, you could end up making five to seven lakhs uh, per annum easily, which, which isn't with a lot of hard work. Plus, you're doing something that you really enjoy. So it's not stress me over. If you're good at speaking, a lot of people that I know of, including myself, have started monetizing the experiences. So if I give sessions like this, that would eventually cost corporates and good expensive colleges a lot of money. So that is another way to monetize. And of course, you have the option of starting your own consultancy or your own company. In all of this, as you know, adventure sports is growing. It's growing by you know leaps and bounds. Trekking is a big industry now. You have new adventure sports coming in into the picture. Adventure tourism is on the rise. Though COVID-19 is going to be a little bit But it's on the rise. And of course, there will be like thousands of ways of monetizing it while living the life of your dreams. Also, another way is some people are becoming influencers, you know, Instagram pay influencers. I don't know how it try it. I've been also being very active on Instagram. I've reached to close to 800 followers from 400 followers in the past few months. So I'm see, uh, let's see how it work out. Karta. But yeah, there's another thing which a lot of people are becoming. They're becoming influencers. Who, you know, they're getting a lot of following. They're putting good pictures. Uh, what is your true source of inspiration? The mountains itself. Ashi, uh, my true source of information, uh, inspiration sorry, is the mountain itself. I love the mountains. I love to live in them. I love to do everything in between in them. So it comes from the mountains for the mountains. Anything else? I, are we hung? Oh, no. How do you handle negative comments? Uh, it's a very funny story, Sparkle, Sparkle Varshi. Um, I was in 2010, I was a decent student. I went to the University of Delhi, did a course in business economics. Both I interview, sorry, written examination of entrance exam of this course. I don't know how to do it. But uh, it was a good college and I wasn't a bad student. So people had a lot of um, expectations sort of from me. And when in 2010, I didn't do anything like policy nikal ne ke baad maine mba nahi opt kiya ya you know job nahi liya ya kisi aur college mein nahi gaya to logo ko kafi bura laga aur us samay kafi in a certain way main negative to nahi kehna chahta but kafi you know uh, sort of helping nature se logo ne comment karna start kiya logo ne apna concern dikhana start kiya ki beta ye kar lo beta ye acha hai beta isme scope zyada hai because I was slowly working on my, on my dreams. I was working on what I wanted to become. And the same people when uh, after 2013, when I was started to be written about in newspapers and TV interviews and a fame came to me. So these same people I believe that the negative comments aren't really negative. They are people who are concerned about you and they wish you the same. But if they are, still you find somebody who is absolutely negative, who wants to see you fail, use this to fuel your fire. You know, aag ko jalne ke lakri hoti hai. Aur aapke andar jo aag hai, usme se negative content dal ke deko, lakri jalega. I promise you. Next. Uh -huh. Uh, let's just end the question and answer round here. See you, uh, since you are having all the repetitive questions again and again, uh -huh. uh, that those questions you answered, they, those were really informative, I guess, for everyone. We get to know something uh, that, that we do, usually don't know. Like, you know, uh, about all the mainstream jobs, we know about them most, um, we know a lot about them. But, you know, mountaineering is something that is that was very different for all of us today. So thank you, Prem, for enlightening us about that. And let's just ask everybody for a very quick, uh, you know, uh, feedback from. So uh, how how do you like the session? Please just write in the comment section so we can get a very quick feedback from everyone. Okay. So Nagas and Rai saying. Ah. Uh, 
Naga Chatrai saying, I started my training in gyms and WS. Thanks for giving a valuable suggestion to me. Uh, Naga sir, thank you very much uh, for listening to me, for thinking me eligible enough to give you a suggestion. But yeah, gym is a lovely institute. Uh, I have personally been invited to gym a few times. I uh, skiing in Gulmarg. There is an outreach branch hai, ya main branch in Pelgam. And I love the people there, the lovely, lovely people. And I think if you've done your training or if you want to start your training from there, you will have a great time. We are having so many positive feedbacks, motivational session, nice session, awesome, very informative. Thank you, everybody. I hope some of you uh, go out and climb some mountains or at least visit the mountains as as the things get better. COVID-19, it's not very nice to go out there. Abdul is saying you are one of the more hard worker mountaineer. You have been working for nature to make the name and fame of India to the world. Prem sir, keep the three piece of life to end. We love you, your three piece. I love my three piece too, and I love you all too, Adbut. Thank you very much for that lovely, lovely comment. Uh, so yeah, okay. Harsh, I was saying it'll be nice if you could uh, quickly give some people are interested in knowing some very uh, particular things. So if you could just hand them out like a uh, like uh, handle any of my handles so if they want to connect they could ask yeah. a question directly because abhi ek ghante mein bahut detail mein nahi ja payenge na yeah those who want to connect to mr prem uh, you can just go to our website what after uh, what after college let's talk and we you, you will find all the links uh, on our website you can just click on the link and connect to mr prem uh, it's there all the links are there on our website uh, and Prem, this is a very small gesture from Let's Talk. It is a certificate of recognition for you. We will just send it over to you over WhatsApp or email. Thank, thank you so you. much for thank you so much for coming today for the session and enlightening something that we know a very little about today. And you know, uh, we can all explore our, our future in that and follow our passions and dreams and thank complete you very our much. goals. And, and and yeah, our goals. Uh, sorry, sorry. I, I, it, it, is there a lag between what I say and what you say? Because at, at my point, it ends and then suddenly it starts. No, no. Now it's clear. You, you can. If you have any advice to all of the people, you can just start do give it. No advice. No advice at all. I think everybody knows much more than uh, me. I, I'm sure they have heard a lot of great people speak. All the gyan is already available on Google and YouTube. So gyan is not something which I'm good at. But yes, uh, thank you very much for everybody who came out and gave us that half an hour, one hour's time to listen to us. And if there is anything that you want to know about mountaineering, there's a lot of mountaineers out there, including me, who would love to, you know, help people out with this sport. And yeah, thank you so much. And you guys have a beautiful, beautiful weekend, which is coming ahead. And I'll see you soon on one of the social media handles. Okay, thank you so much Philip, for coming for the session for this Let's Talk webinar. Uh, if you want, you can leave. I'll just take it away from you. Lovely. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you so much for coming. I don't know how to leave, though. How do I leave? Uh, you, can, you can just click. Yeah. Okay. Okay, everyone. Uh, so, uh, this is the upcoming talk that we are having this Saturday. Uh, Mr. Sumit Aroda, who is the founder of Nitro Entertainment, will be talking about dance and education. Uh, this this webinar is on 18th July 2020, Saturday, time 4 p.m. So if you want, you, can, you just don't miss this session. You can just um, join our WhatsApp group and you can you will get regular updates from us. So just don't miss, miss this session on Saturday at 4 p.m. Uh, let me just very quickly tell you what is what after college offering you. This is, first of all, this is the Mentor LED online training program that we are offering. The good news is we have already conducted this program for more than uh, 500 students this summer. These uh, programs are offered in Android development, Python program, machine learning and data science. You can just go to our website or you can just call on the number below to know the details about these programs if you are interested. You see, this is the Microsoft recorded programs that we are offering. Uh, these programs are just for rupees 999 and you will also get a certificate, Microsoft certificate after completing these programs. If you are interested in these Microsoft recorded programs, you can just go to call the number below or you can also, uh, same, you can just go to our website and check this out. Uh, this is the What After College online workshop series. We conduct these workshops every weekend and these workshops are affiliated to IIT Kharagpur and IIIT Allahabad. 
uh, we conduct these workshops in the field of artificial intelligence ethical hacking 3d printing internet of things android development robotics digital marketing and automobile and ic engines uh, the fees for this workshop is uh, 300 to 400 rupees and you can just go to the go to our shop.whataftercollege.com and you can pay if you want to attend the web uh, online workshop series you can pay it for, uh, at there uh, also i have a 50% discount for you on these workshop uh, how do you, how will you get these 50% uh, discount all those people who will fill the feedback form will get get the certificate when you will get receive the certificate you have to download the certificate and you have to share the certificate on your instagram or linkedin and you have to also tag what after college in that post and send this send the link and the screenshot of that post to hers.rana@karen.in uh, when you will send the send the screenshot and link to us we will uh, send you a discount coupon and you can get 50% discount on our workshops so if you are interested uh, please fill the feedback form i'll share the link of the feedback form to you in the comment section um, the password was shared to you during the middle of the session so if you want that discount please fill the feedback form this is our let's talk campus ambassador program if you, you can be a campus ambassador with what after college uh, you will get a campus ambassador certificate for that you can also build your network among the industry leaders you can also build a very professional linkedin profile so if you are interested in the campus ambassador program you can uh, just text me on the number below or you can call me that you want to be a campus ambassador so now i'll be sharing the uh, link for the feedback form all those who want a discount for the uh, online workshops please fill the feedback form and you will get the certificate uh, the link for the feedback form has been shared to you this uh, feedback form is open for 7 minutes only so please fill the feedback form to get the certificate and so that you can also get the discount for our workshops. Please just go and fill the feedback form if you want to avail this discount our, on our What After College online workshop series that we conduct every weekend.
okay okay guys so i'm closing the feedback form now i hope you all have filled the feedback form uh, please just come uh, attend the next webinar that is on saturday 4 pm see you on saturday again thank you so much